Welcome to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network Sunday special interview. Very, very excited today because my guest today is the current IWA Mid-South Heavyweight Champion, former Impact Wrestling Superstar. I'm talking about the modern man in black himself, Jake Chris. Jake, welcome to the show, man. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you for having me. How's it going? Okay. How are you today, sir? Man, I'm going uh, going good, man. About to hit uh, my second time in the gym today, so okay. uh, looking forward to that. Uh, my wife's about to hit the road, so I figured I'd try to get uh, one one in before she hits the road. Okay, man. So you keep it in shape uh, during free agency, huh? Trying to, man. I'm, I'm trying, like, pulling those two-a-days. And uh, actually just took uh, a couple days off of the gym uh, for the first time in a while, uh, just uh, this last uh, weekend for super, for the Super Bowl and stuff like okay. that. You know, I know it's a Sunday interview, but, you know, <laughs> with, with it being the Super Bowl yesterday. Uh, that's uh, cool, man. That's cool. That was a pretty good game, though, huh? Did you was, enjoy it? It was a good game. That Tom Brady is something else, huh? He's something else. Uh, could be the greatest of all time, man. Him oh, or, ab or absolutely the goat. I, 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 he's up there with Joe Montana. Joe Montana was very good, also. I'm a big Joe Montana fan, but but Brady's right up. Brady's Brady could be the greatest of all time, man. Yeah, Brady's never been able, or uh, Brady's been able to go to that other team and make you know get them to the Super Bowl and win. That's Joe true. Montana's never been able to do that. That's what do you go? Let's go to uh, the Chiefs, right? Uh, that's correct. Yes, that yep. is true. That is true, man. All right. So how is free agency treating you, um, by the way? Oh, man, I, I can't complain. Uh, I, I get to do what I want when I want. And, you know, and like I said, you know, like quarantine is, you know, kind of uh, putting a stop to a lot of things. Uh, but, you know, I get I get to stay busy with IWA and, uh, you know, uh, going to the gym twice a day. All right, there you go, man. Uh, so the <laughs> last time last time we saw you with a major promotion was, of course, Impact Wrestling. Everybody knows that. Uh, you were part of, part of the cancer culture faction. So whose idea was it to put you with that faction, and how did you initially feel about the character change? Um, I don't know whose idea it was, to be completely honest. Uh, but uh, when when it was brought to my attention, you know, I, I'm, I'm one of those guys that – what I just tries to make the best out of any situation that I can. So whatever they want, uh, I do. I've been brought up the uh, the way of uh, whatever the booker or promoter wants you do. So you know, I was I was willing to do whatever they needed me to do. Okay. Well, as we know, cancel culture ended prematurely. Do you know what the long term plans were for cancel culture? I have no idea. Um, like uh, when when it started, uh, next thing you know, it was kind of like it was. I blinked and it was over. <laughs> so I mean, you know, it was it was one of those situations where I just um, I, I don't know what was uh, to come of it. I don't even know if they knew what was to come of it. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense. Absolutely, that makes perfect sense, man. Um, so after. After cancer culture ended prematurely, Impact Wrestling decided not to use you again. Uh, how did you feel about that? And did anyone from Impact contact you to explain your status with the company at all? Um, it was heartbreaking. It sucked. Uh, you know, being you know um, lumped in with uh, with all the all those other people and stuff. But uh, no, I mean, I, I contact them, and I, I think. Uh, you know, uh, it was, you know, kind of like a mutual type thing, uh, you know, so that's that's pretty much, you know, uh, how it kind of went down. Um, I, I asked, uh, I asked to, um, you know, um, what, what was up and I, I don't know if they knew what was going on, you know, and it was just kind of, uh, we were just kind of waiting to see what was what was the come of all, all the situations that that was, you know, happening at the time. So if that makes any kind of uh, sense, you know, like I, I didn't know what was to happen or what was going to happen with me or my career. And I think, you know, impact was, you know, pretty much in the same boat. You know, I don't, I don't blame them at all for anything. No, there's no hard feelings. It's all rainbows and hugs and kisses for me. So I, I love, I love everything that uh, impacts able to uh, do for me. And, you know, like uh, they, they, they allowed me to live my dream for four years. It was amazing. I enjoyed right, so, my ride. So, all right. Actually, my favorite Jake Chris match 
was you defending the exhibition title against Aiden Prince I in Windsor, Ontario. That was absolutely fantastic. So your thoughts on Aiden Prince? I actually had Aiden Prince on the show recently, and he had nothing but nice things to say about you. Um, I, I and- love Aiden Prince. I, okay. I thought uh, – I legit thought that match was uh, going to get him signed. You know, it, it should have, you know, like if, if I was to, I mean, who am I, you know, but, uh, you know, like if, if, if I was to give out contracts, I totally would have gave out uh, Aiden Prince a contract, uh, especially after that performance that uh, we had. It was, it was an amazing match. Uh, it was definitely easily in one of my top uh, five matches that my favorite matches that I've had an impact easily. That and uh, when I won the uh, exhibition title from Rich Swan, I thought that was that's that's up there for me as well. Yeah, I was actually at the show for that one when you defeated Rich Swan. I remember actually meeting Rich Swan before the match, and he put the exhibition title over my shoulder. Little did I know that he only had um uh, about a half hour left to be the exhibition champion. But that was a fantastic match as well, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. You're welcome. And I agree with you. After that match with Aiden Prince, they should have signed him immediately. I'm surprised that they haven't. I'm surprised that they haven't signed him yet, but hopefully down the road they'll uh, they'll Somebody give him a should. shot. Man. Somebody, Somebody should. should give him a shot. He's he's amazing talent. Absolutely, man. I agree with you 100. percent So, how, how proud was how proud are you that you can call yourself a former X Division champion? Because that's a prestigious title, man. I'm I'm very proud. You know, guys like Kurt Angle, AJ Styles, Samoa Joe. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Has held that championship, so it's it's obviously an honor to me, and it, it brings a smile to my face. Obviously, when you said, you know, how's it feel to be a former X Division champion? It feels amazing. It feels great. It feels like you're, you know, like, it, like I said, you know, yeah, I'm in, I'm in this club of all these great, you know, ex, uh, former exhibition champions. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. And, uh, like I said, it was a great match and uh, I'm glad I was there to see the title change, man. That was, that was fantastic. Um, I don't think anybody's seen that coming. No, actually, I was surprised. I was surprised. Really I, was su- I was shocked. I was surprised. I didn't see it coming at all. <laughs> I was shocked. I was surprised. I mean, when when you won, that was like a holy shit moment for me. I'm like, I whoa, Jake, great Chris is the new X Division champion. You know, you don't. Whoa. Yeah, I know, man. I was like, wow, you don't get to see title changes live all the time, and that was that was a treat, man. Uh, yeah, it was but, awesome. Awesome, man. So, were you happy with all the OV? My success has happened in Canada. That's, that's crazy. That's true. And then, that's uh, awesome. And I, I think I just need to move to Canada. <laughs> hey, move to Windsor, Ontario, man. I could interview you face to face, man. Let's let's, there let's, we go. Do, let's do it, man. Uh, so, are you happy with the OVE run? And um, is there anything you might have done differently? And do you feel it could have been maybe, as I know, towards the tail end of OVE before you guys uh, broken up, you will. All due respect, you guys were losing a lot of matches. Uh, but do you feel it could have been a little more dominant, uh, dominant faction? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think uh, our run was great. I mean, like, if you if you really look at the whole run and overall, I mean, there's how many wrestling factions and, and wrestling history get to have a run for what two and a half, three years that we that we did, you know. So I I think uh, I think I think everyone that was uh, able to put us in that position and to be honest I don't know if I would have done anything differently I I, I kind of enjoyed the way everything kind of crumbled and ended at the end because I mean that's kind of like how all our all our lives would you know would, would have seemed to go anyways if that was to happen in real life like everyone's life would just kind of crumble and we would just kind of just fade off and never talk to each other again I feel you know what I mean? uh, yeah. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Of course, man. Of course. Could we see OVE uh, down the road again? Uh, oh, I, I mean, you never know. I mean, Sammy, uh, I, I love Sammy to death, even though he's a jackass and uh, broke <laughs> us up. <laughs> mm, and Fulton's, uh, Fulton's one of my best friends in the world. Uh, you know, when, when you can have a guy that's 6'8 uh, on your side, uh, I I would uh, definitely jump on that bandwagon if you can. Like anyone that's six eight and want to be on your side, be like, yep, I, I, I <laughs> let's go. Let's do it, man. Of course, of course. So as you stated, there are no bad feelings towards Impact Wrestling. So could we, in fact, see you back in Impact Wrestling in the future? I mean, I don't know. Like, uh, no one's uh, no one's you know 
never say never in this business, they say, right? So uh, I've, you know, I, I was there for four years. I, I enjoyed every bit of it. And uh, they, they uh, actually, the, the company itself allowed me to grow as a human being and everything that they taught me. And I've learned about the business, you know, the TV side of wrestling was just amazing. So I have nothing but great uh, things to say about Impact. And I would totally be willing to, to go down and come back and down to come back, I should say. <laughs> of course, man. Of course, man. So are there any other promotions that you're that you're looking at? Maybe MLW, AEW, New Japan, or do you want to keep that under wraps for now? All, I would, I would, all those all those places you mentioned would be amazing. Uh, MLW would be great. Uh, New Japan would be amazing, and so would uh, All Elite. So I'm, I check I check all those uh, off my list. Like anyone that would uh, want to book uh, book me, I would definitely uh, would love to join the product. Yeah, I'm big. MLW. Even if it was for a match or two. Well, I'm a big MLW fan. I think you against Jacob for two would be absolutely incredible man that would be great that would be great would he's be... he's been a great champion hasn't he uh, he's been an unbeatable champion but i think if you All showed right. up i think you have a really good shot at taking that title off of man i so mean hopefully. you know these feet are pretty educated <laughs> yeah, you don't want to you don't want to get hit with one of those uh jay chris kicks man that's nope. uh, those are Not pretty intense all. man so so how did it all begin for you um what led you to make the decision to pursue professional wrestling uh, like like most people, uh, I enjoyed uh, watching wrestling uh, with my father. Uh, I remember watching like Hulk, he was a big Hulk Hogan fan. Okay. Like I, I think everyone was in the eighties. Yeah. So uh, uh, I kind of grew up uh, sitting on his lap, eating popcorn, and uh, watching Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior, and uh, kind of fell in love with those larger than life uh, characters. And then I went to. Uh, 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 guys like you know the Rockers are really enjoy, uh, really really enjoyed uh, Marty Jannetty and Shawn Michaels as the Rockers. Uh, those are the three, and Ravishing Rick Rude was the fourth that I remember uh, as a kid, like actually being you know f uh, five six years old watching. Uh, these these guys and Andre the Giant, who oh, yeah. everyone you can't forget Andre the Giant, yeah. but uh, those those were the guys that I remembered as a kid. And uh, I looked up at my father and said, uh, "Dad, I'm going to be a pro wrestler one day." In a kitty voice, much kind of sounds like the one that I have now. I was like, "Dad, I'm going to be a pro wrestler." <laughs> so, that's, that's uh, you you mentioned Andre the Giant. Uh, I'm a little older than you, so I Bruno San Martino made me a fan of professional wrestling. First oh, show I ever awesome. went to, I was 10 years old, 1980. Main event: Andre the Giant versus Hulk Hogan, Nassau Coliseum in Long Island. Wow, and, um, how lucky are you? Yeah, I, I was very fortunate. I got to see Andre the Giant wrestle live, but uh, right. great show, man. Um, that would have been amazing. But uh, oh. that's what that's what kind of got me uh, started into it, and then it just kind of morphed from there. Uh, in high school, uh, I was uh, kind of concentrating on baseball, or actually middle school uh, all the way to high school, I was concentrating on baseball, and then uh, uh, I switched back and I fell back in love with wrestling. Once I saw the Hardy Boys uh, ladder match with uh, Edge and Christian, the Terry Reynolds Invitational. Yeah, man, that's what that, that match alone made me fall in love with wrestling all over again and i was like yeah i'm definitely gonna gonna try and seek this out well you're, you've been very successful at it man so so thank so. you you're welcome you're welcome man uh so tell me uh, back to ove tell me about the origins of ove how did uh how did that whole uh, faction begin well, uh, we uh, Sammy uh, came in, and it was definitely like the thumbs up, thumbs down, and uh, that was the kickstart that uh, we needed, the shot uh, to the heart, the adrenaline, and we were off to the races. Uh, as soon as Sammy uh, joined for forces, it was just, it was like, it. best way I can describe it is uh, grabbing on to Superman's cape for as long as you can. Man, and again, I, I, I hope I hope we see you again down. I hope we see OVE again down the road. I love the faction, big fan of it, and I hope down the road uh, we're going to see uh, the reforming of OVE. Man, I got my fingers crossed, man. Thank you, man. Thank you.
My pleasure. So, so you're the IWA Mid South Heavyweight Champion. You've held that title for quite some time. So, uh, who's your biggest threat? Do you feel right now? Because you, like I said, you've had that belt for quite some time. Uh, had a few matches in 2021. Who do you feel is your biggest threat for that title? Uh, right now, uh, Aaron Williams uh, and his faction uh, would totally be uh, the biggest threat to me in the IWA Mid South uh, World Title. Um, and, and to be honest, uh, guys that uh, Ian uh, brings in, uh, anyone that could come in uh, could take the uh, title off. He's just uh, he, he's kind of got that um, uh, power legacy amongst uh, indie wrestling or the eye for the talent, so to speak, right before they uh, – uh, break out it seems that uh they they wrestled for iwa mid-south you know what i mean you know guys from cm punk to coke cabana you know so it's so i mean you know it, you never know who's going to come in and uh who who's going to throw against uh, me for the uh, iwa world uh championship and and to be honest with you I, that's what i love most about uh wrestling for iwa is is that uh he keeps you guessing and that that mysterious you know factor of you never know who is going to come in and face you for the championship and they could take it right off your your shoulder or your waist however you want to carry it You've held that belt for almost a year or over a year now, correct? No, yeah, yeah, no, 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 not, not a, not a year. I think it's like close to two hundred days or somewhere okay. around there. We're getting close, getting close. All right, man. All right, and also you have a big show coming up, January twentieth, uh, Global Wrestling Syndicate against another one of my favorites. Richard Holiday, and that's going to be an absolutely fantastic match. I'm going to definitely order that. It's on Fight TV. Tell me a little bit about that match and your thoughts on Richard Holiday. Um, I'm I'm actually looking forward to it. I just uh, wit witnessed his match with Savia Vega. Like uh, I think like everyone uh, watched that match. Yeah, like that match was tremendous, right? Yeah, absolutely tremendous. And um, um, like I said, uh, I can't wait for his match with you. It's going to be. Uh, I'm, looking, gonna... I'm looking forward to it. You know, uh, like I said, here's to having a wonderful match. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's the first time the promotion's uh, having the first show, and uh, yeah. it's the first time I get to meet meet uh, Richard. So I'm really, really looking forward to uh, staring him across the, the ring to Richard Holiday. Yeah, Here's man. to having a wonderful match, my friend. That could be, that match could steal the show. Uh, absolutely. Oh, I plan to. Oh, yeah, of course, man. To. Modern Man in Black is always stealing That's the show, we man. Do. And That's <laughs> always what we do. Oh, and January 20th is gonna be no exception, man. So last question February I know you, 20th. Oh, did I say January? February 20th. Yeah, We're already February past. 20th. I am sorry. I was living no in the problem. past. It, it's hey, February it's 20th, all, it's man. All, it's all, February yeah. 20th. So uh, last question, because I know uh, you got to get going. Um, what are the main goals for you for 2021 and beyond? Um, to get back on uh, television in a major way and for a major promotion. You know, if uh, any of you uh, promotions out there see your ears start to peak up, give me a call. Shoot me a message. My phone lines are open. Absolutely. Court Bauer, if, you, if you're listening or watching, give this man a call immediately. Let's give him, do it. Give him a call immediately. Let's do it. All right. Well, Jake, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. It was an absolute pleasure. It was an honor talking to you. I'm a big fan, and I wish you nothing thank but the you. best of luck down the road, man. Thank you so much. I, I enjoyed uh, being on. Thank you. My pleasure, man. My pleasure. So this has been the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network Sunday special interview. Again, I want to thank my guest, the modern man in black, Jake Christ. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye. Hit me up, MLW. I see the record button. Hit me up. Okay. I'll see you, bro. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>